I'm Lena Lowen, work for Coleman Row, been here for about 12 years. This is the Coleman Row plant and this is the grading station that we start with every morning. It has the tote dumper which uh, when we receive a tote it comes in a water ice mixture to keep the fish nice, nice and cold. Uh, it gets dumped into here and we have one gentleman that works here every morning and basically he will grade out any fish that are not um, usable, which is if they have uh, any defects on the fish, they do get discarded immediately. It gets thrown into these slots, it goes up the machine, across that conveyor, which weighs and counts them, and then it goes into the appropriate tote, depending on what we're grading, which is typically one pound or anything above a pound. So anything that is below a pound will be used as a dresser and will not be filleted, so it gets kept separate for uh, customers that prefer dressers. This is the processing room and this is where the totes of fish are brought to immediately after being graded. Um, they are put, to, they're in the ice water mixture, which um, this is how they come directly from the farm. And it, uh, they are thrown into the uh, totes live, but they do um, die on the way just from the ice water mixture. So they are firm and easy to handle. They are dumped into this table where we have two gentlemen that uh, remove the bottom fin, which is the first part of the process, and throw them into a table here where it is dumped into this next table here. We have a gentleman here who places them in uh, the header, which uh, just takes off the right amount of head to leave uh, good yield and uh, nice clean cuts. It is dropped into another transfer conveyor where it is brought into the filleter which removes the backbone and uh, these uh, conveyors here will drop all the, uh, the backbones into this tote here. It is then comes out the uh, filleter here which uh, we have typically two to three people on either side of this table who will uh, just remove any extra bones, any unmentionables like anything that the customer does not want on their fillet. It, we also have the handheld wizards for specified cuts from the customers. Um, it goes across this table, so there's three people that are on this table, each doing their own, but the person at the end will all in all just make sure that there is nothing left behind. So the uh, third person on this table is usually the quality person. It gets dropped onto this automatic pin boner which uh, has spinning wheels that will remove all the pin, pin bones out of here. It goes across this belt where we have four gentlemen who use the handheld to remove anything that is left behind. So every fillet is inspected as it hits this table. The four gentlemen uh, inspect every fillet to make sure that there is no bones left behind. It gets dropped onto another conveyor that goes into the high pressure washer which washes them all the extra pin bones that might have uh, fallen off of their machines and blood. It gets dropped onto this table, which then is inspected again to make sure that there is no uh, bones left behind of any sort from the trim line or the pin boners. If, they, uh, if there happens to be anything, they do have a tray that they throw them into to make sure that it is uh, reworked properly. They also grade out any B quality fish, which are the paler or uh, paler fillets that uh, some customers will specify for. It goes up this conveyor, drops down onto our finishing grader, which this machine here will weigh out your, um, we program it to weigh out 10 pound, five pound, 25 pound boxes, and uh, certain size fillets. Some people want eight to 10 ounce fillets, others specify six to eight ounce fillets. It depends on the customer, but this is where we will program it to make sure that uh, we meet their needs. It then drops down, goes across this belt here and will drop down into the specified chute that we have it programmed for. It is uh, then weighed again to make sure that the weights are correct and put onto a skid and iced and lidded. We then bring it to the shipping area which will uh, be labeled, wrapped and put into the cooler until transportation.